Hi there, welcome to SAG Vision Intel Academy. I am Dr. Neeraj Vadhavan. Today we are going to have a sneak peek into what was the subject-wise distribution of questions in INICT November 2025 exam. So if you look at the table behind me, this is the subject-wise distribution. We have a collection of 200 out of 200 questions collected. And if we see the subject-wise distribution, first we talk about the medical versus dental. Okay, and if you calculate, add all the medical subjects, you're going to find the questions were around 35 or so okay remaining out of the 200 were dental questions so you get around 165 dental okay and 35 medical which gives a percentage of only 17.5 percent to the medical subjects which is quite low we normally we find around 33 percent to be medical paper this is 17.5 percent okay one thing Second thing is, if you look at the medical side, most of the subjects which are otherwise very important for us, like physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, general path and medicine, for NEET exam, they are very important subjects, okay? But look at what percentage have they contributed to the whole paper, 0.5%, 1.5%, 2.5% maximum. Only two subjects which have been asked regularly in the last two, three INI papers, which we always talk about anatomy and pharmac this i had mentioned in the previous video also for our students that pharmac and anatomy are being repeated very often in these papers whether they'll be repeated in the next paper or not nobody knows again same thing if this pattern is repeated in the next paper or not we don't know but yes right now anatomy and pharmac do require some special attention when you are preparing or revising for the ina exam at the same time you can't leave the other subjects altogether. You know, someday it has to change. So yeah, you never know which exam it will change. You should not be caught unawares. So right now, yes, anatomy and pharmac contributing around 7% and 5.5% respectively into the paper. Okay, now we come to the dental side. What is surprising? Surprising is such a low percentage for dental materials. Dental materials normally has a much higher percentage. The number of questions should have been double of this. Eight questions have come, it should have been nearly 16. That is what is expected in normal pattern paper, okay? If you see the last few papers. Dental anatomy, again, very low weightage. Anatomy, uh, dental anatomy is normally having a low weightage in INI, but last one or two papers, we had around, you know, four or five questions coming from this part. Right now, the weightage is quite low, which is on sort of expected trends, but the number is really low. Oral pathology and especially if you combine it with OMR, okay, you find around 16.5% for these two. So we always say that oral pathology OMR along with community, community has 12.5% weightage, 25 questions in all. So OMR, OPATH and community make up a lot of the INI paper. That is always what we talk about. And I had mentioned this in our video for our students. And this again is seen in this paper. Apart from that, which all subjects were very important? Prosto had a high weightage, endo had a high weightage, uh, rest of them had relatively lesser weightage. If you look at the graph, okay, as to what was the number of questions coming per subject, okay, the whole of it if we look and we draw a, a, a barrier or a line at 15 questions or more, then which all subjects had such a high weightage? This is very important to know. Ortho at 16 just crosses the barrier of 15. Apart from that, we have community. Okay, we have endo 26 questions, which is surprising. I mean, the weightage has been slightly more. Uh, 26 ki jaga, I would have expected around 18 questions, 17, 18 questions in endo and cons. Cons ki weightage thodi kami rehti hai. Endo is always more if we talk about both of them together. This is endo plus cons. Okay, so we read it as cons plus endo, but endo always has more weightage. So, uh, endo, surprisingly higher, community as expected, OMR is always uh, a club with oral pathology, it has an overlap with oral pathology, so I like to combine both of them when we are talking about OPATH and OMR, I like to combine them. Okay, apart from that, PROSTHO is 19, PERIO remains just one short of our magic number of 15, okay, so it remains important, oral surgery, 13, it is expected number, sometimes it is like 18, 19, sometimes it comes to 13. So that kind of weightage can be varying between the papers. The medical subjects, none of them managed to cross the magic mark of 15 questions. So you know which, which part of preparation should be better, medical or dental. This graph and the data I've shown you all, already talks about it. If I show you the percentage wise distribution, this makes it for slightly better viewing. The data is the same. 
हाइएस्ट वेटेज गोज टू कम्युनिटी थर्टीन परसेंट एंडो थर्टीन परसेंट ओरल पैथोलॉजी ट्वेल्व परसेंट इफ आई कम्बाइन इट विद ओ एम आर इट बिकम्स अराउंड सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ओके प्रोस्थो हैज दी नेक्स्ट लेवल एट टेन परसेंट ऑर्थो एट परसेंट सो क्लोज टू द वेटेज गिवन टू प्रोस्थो एंड ऑन द नेक्स्ट लेवल वी हैव इन फैक्ट ऑर्थो विल कम विद ऑर्थो पेरियो ओरल सर्जरी ऑल ऑफ दैम आर अराउंड सेवन परसेंट वेटेज एंड दिस इंक्लूड्स नाउ योर मेडिकल साइड ऑल्सो we look at anatomy anatomy also has 7% weightage so all these will come at the third tier second tier pe we had prostho only and uh, prostho has a lot of disciplines so this time i think some justice has been done you have a, you are having around 3 to 4 disciplines in prostho so if you have 10% weightage i think some justice has been done to prostho normally weightage thodi kam aati hai at the fourth level you have pedo okay just 5% weightage omr i have already clubbed with oral pathology and uh, then pedo and pharmac have nearly the same weightage okay and rest of the subjects like physio biochem micro dental materials dental anatomy they have they are having very low weightage this is a surprise for me don't think dental materials is going to come every time at this percentage this is a surprise for me so i hope you like the sneak peek into the subject wise distribution of questions in the ini exam we shortly we are going to release the questions the answers and short discussions to all the subjects that have come there the questions that we have collected and it will be done exclusively on the s achievers app so download the app today and wait for us to upload the subject wise discussion i'll see you very soon bye bye